So I wasn't too bad before I got in, but hopefully I'll hold off the race. Plenty of slip streaming at Silverstone, and it's a windy day. Is that a factor? Yeah, very much. I really contributed my, my best lap was because I got a toe off someone else. A lot of people will be doing it as well. It helps you to get a little bit more momentum onto the straight, helps to pass people. Yeah, it will, when it's windy as well, it'll, uh, it'll help people. On the second row of the grid is the American Jeff Harrison, who's driven in Formula 4 2000 in his native country, and alongside him is number 11, Justin Keane. Further back on the grid, though, is Guy Smith, and he's one to watch. Fuel pump problems in practice have relegated him to the back of the grid, a time of 1 minute 8.52. Some five seconds adrift of Jules Gilson, Daniel Liddell, who take the front row, Jeff Harrison and Justin Keane, row two. A look at the time shows how close the cars are, with fifth to tenth positions being covered by four hundredths of a second. Sixteen laps in prospect then for the Formula Vauxhall Juniors. They get underway now as the lights go to green. Very good start by uh, Jeff Harrison there from the second row of the grid. He's trying to find a way through the two front row cars, which are from pole position there. The car of Jules Gilson and Daniel Little alongside him. They go to Cops Corner for the first time, and Gilson it is that leads then, as he did at Alton Park. They're moving up from the uh, fourth row of the grid, number eight is James Thompson. Round Cops they go then up towards Beckett's for the first time, and the white car of Jules Gilson leads. Second is the American Jeff Harrison. Third is Daniel Little. They break for Beckett's now. In fourth position we see Justin Keane. Fifth is David Turnbull. And round they go safely. There is Harrison's teammate, number four, Mark Shaw. Down the club straight to Brooklands for the first time. And Gilson starting to make a break, is he? We'll see in a moment as we look at the perspective of the other cars. Second is Harrison. Third is Little. Moving up on the inside to try and take fourth is Turnbull. And he does so away from Justin Keane. But they make it side by side round Brooklands. And Keane keeps his position. He's keen to do well. Uh, he's up into fourth again. Turnbull down to fifth. Sixth is Jamie Davis, the man from the third row of the grid. And so far they're all safe around the opening lap. The first of 16 here at Silverstone. Across the line then, Gilson leads, and yes, he is pulling away a little bit, the white Jonathan Lewis run car. Second place is still Jeff Harrison, third Daniel Little, now Little moves to the inside, does he? Now can he get past into second place as they come to Cops? We'll have a look. He leaves his braking later, and through goes the driver from Prestatin, up into second place then, Daniel Little, his best result in the championship so far. Harrison down to third, the cars make their way up towards Beckett's, a look back in fourth place is still Justin Keane. Now will Harrison fight back at Beckett's? Little goes a little bit wider, and Harrison though loses another position to Keane, side by side round Beckett's, Keane up into third place, or is he? Yes he is, he now knows he's ahead, Turnbull is still there in fifth position, all this squabbling of course though helps Gilson to pull away, so can Little do anything about him? Side by side, Jeff Harrison tries to pass Keane, and uh, behind them David Turnbull gets very sideways ahead of Keane, round goes Jeff Harrison, now, is everyone going to miss him? No they don't, Jeff Lister uh, clobbers in, Matthew Franey's white car has spun as well, so uh, a lot of sorting out there at Brooklands. There is 21 Franey rejoining the circuit. Now who else did we lose? Turnbull rejoins. Over the line comes Gilson. We'll pick out in a moment who's going to carry on and who isn't from that uh, fracas there at Brooklands. A look at it again though. First of all, keep your eye on the pink car of David Turnbull because he's the first one to spin. Jeff Harrison though, uh, very quickly into the corner, loses it. Round goes the car. It comes to rest on the circuit. Now Jeff Lister's yellow car launches himself over the front wheels. Matthew Franey spins. So after all that, we lose David Turnbull. Into the pits comes the Rowan Racing car. They've still got one left in this race, though. That's of Martin O'Connell. Side by side at Beckett's and Keane rests. Second place away now from Daniel Little. Now can Little fight back? They're down the club straight. Marvellously close racing as ever from Formula Vauxhall Junior cars. Little moves to the outside. Now they've got to come through the kink, first of all. That may uh, hinder his line a little bit. Will he tuck into the slipstream or will he brave it out? No, he tucks back in into Brooklands, look back in fourth place is Thompson, fifth is the car of Martin O'Connell, and side by side Mark Shaw now try to move up on number seven Ewan Dewar and failing, and you can see that as a result of frantic late braking he's now fallen back a little bit. Here's the battle for second position though, number 11 Justin Keane, chasing after him is Daniel Little, and all the time Jules Gilson, who's not feeling well, we remind you of that, and he's probably hoping to get these 16 laps over as quickly as possible, pulls away. Guy Smith moving up, he's trying to pass Jamie Davis down in the eighth place. He goes through on the inside, so the Swift Caravan sponsored car of Guy Smith, round one winner, moves up a place. Daniel Littles trying to get second place back at Beckett's around the outside of Justin Keane. Fourth is Thompson, fifth O'Connell, no, not fifth at all, he loses that to Ewan Dewar. Now can he fight back as they go down the club straight, we'll find out in a moment. Jules Gilson still leading, side by side for second. Keane and Little, bit of a twitch there from the uh, Daniel Little car, and he goes round the outside, a very brave manoeuvre at Brooklands, so back up into second place goes Daniel Little. Can he stay there, and can he close on Jules Gilson? Look back to 
fourth position. There is Thompson secure. Fifth, Dewar, sixth, O'Connell. Round Bluffield two and down towards Woodcut to complete the lap. So race leader Jules Gilson with the car run by Jonathan Lewis Racing. Behind him, the car run by David Leslie's team, that of Daniel Liddle, and all sorts of plays changing further back as O'Connell tries to pass Ewan Dewar and succeeds this time, so that puts him back up into fifth position. If he drifts wide, though, he's not going to keep it, and Dewar will get through, and he does so, and Mark Shaw nearly got carried through as well. Up towards Beckett's, we'll see whether or not the Daniel Liddle's car there can catch Jules Gilson ahead of him. James Thompson in fourth, having a fairly lonely race, and can't really catch Justin Keane, but he's far enough away from the battle between O'Connell and Dewar uh, to be fairly safe at the moment. Guy Smith, though, is again challenging Jamie Davis. O'Connell is challenging uh, Dewar. He can't get through on the outside. Through on the inside, though, goes Mark Shaw. We look back to see Guy Smith tucking into the slipstream of Davis. Mark Shaw promotes himself two places, and he's up into fifth position. Here's the battle now for sixth. It was for fifth. Still O'Connell behind Justin Key. Uh, Ewan Dewar, as they come out of the corner, Guy Smith and Jamie Davies are closing on them, and they've also brought with them now number three, uh, Peter Bell, who works for one of the Jack Brabham garages. Side by side almost as they cross the line, Guy Smith running out of road and arm out of the cockpit to say, excuse me, I'd like a bit more than uh, this inch that you've given me, Jamie. Down to cops they go, they're closing on O'Connell. O'Connell falling away a little bit now from Ewan Dewar ahead of him. So Guy Smith now moving through from the back of the grid, remember, he was slowest in practice with fuel pump problems, and he can't yet find a way past Jamie Davies. Under the vehicle bridge then, race leader Jules Gilson, second still Daniel Little, third is still Justin Keane. Ignore the red car, Steve Wester, he's a lap back, uh, having come out of the pits. Fourth is still Thompson, fifth Mark Shaw, sixth Ewan Dewar, seventh is O'Connell, and eighth and ninth side by side. And, and now O'Connell loses it, side by side was Guy Smith with Davies, and Smith had to go around the outside of O'Connell, that would have cost him time, and may have cost him any chance of getting on terms with again Jamie Davies. So poor old Martin O'Connell completes a fairly horrible day for Rowan Racing teammate David Turnbull retiring into the pits and now a spin for him and here a replay of it down the inside uh, of Ewan Dewar the car gets away from him round it goes he's missed by everybody uh, thankfully this time Guy Smith though had to go very wide and that will really have cost him time round Beckett's go second and third fourth place still Thompson fifth there number four Mark Shaw sixth is Dewar seventh now Davies eighth Peter Bell so what's happened to Guy Smith he must have dropped back another position uh, in that moment and down the inside of Little and a very comfortable passing maneuver indeed there for number 11 Justin Keane but Little fights back side by side once more towards Luffield and around the outside he goes just before the first part of that corner so Daniel Little back into second position marvellous scrap this for second place but it isn't helping them of course catch Jules Gilson don't forget him he's still leading this race quite happily uh, Daniel Little would desperately like to be on terms with him, but he can't be as long as he keeps squabbling away there with Justin Keane in third place. There is Gilson going through Cops. Look back, fourth and fifth closing up now, James Thompson and Mark Shaw. So Thompson, who initially uh, was fairly safe in that position, has lost a lot of time. Jamie Davies now attacks Ewan Dewar on the outside. Guy Smith has moved up past Peter Bell once more, so he's... Uh, catching on them once more he's on the inside the tighter line round cops and can he pass both of them it looked as though he can as they go up towards maggots but he's got past one he got past uh, dewar into beckett's no he's still there behind old adversary jamie davies maybe it won't be too long before he gets past him keen again trying to pass little he's done it i think as they come to brooklyn's yes he has through on the inside now this is where little got the place back last time by going on the outside and this time he's not quite quick enough he has to stay third through Luffield, into Luffield 2, on towards Woodcut. Now, can Little pull out of the slipstream and find a way past Justin Keane? We'll find out. Towards us, though, comes George Gilson out of Woodcut, comes second and third, and they're side by side now. Little on the inside line, that's going to help at Cops. If he breaks later, he'll get through. He does, and we've had a change for fourth. Mark Shaw is up to fourth, and James Thompson trying to fight back. Can't do as of yet. So, round Cops, there you go. Uh, Mark Shaw goes a little bit wide. Maybe Thompson can close as a result of that. Up towards Beckett's they come. So the penultimate lap we're on, and it's now or never really for James Thompson if he wants fourth. Equally, what's happening to Guy Smith? He's managed to get past Davies, and Ewan Dewar is there as well. Peter Bell behind them, so four cars now dicing away. And Davies is about to lose another place, or is he to Ewan Dewar? Dewar on the inside as they came out of Beckett's. Now, here's the second and third scrap. Daniel Little still holding sway at the moment. This time, Justin Keane, using a little bit of opposite lock, can't find a way past. The car slide out of Luffield. And uh, Justin Keane now will tuck into the slipstream as we watch Ewan Dewar attack the Guy Smith car and get it all wrong. Round goes the Mackay Mazda-sponsored car. He doesn't hit anything solid and it won't be a great hindrance to him. He recovers. That will have cost him a fair few places. The last lap then, Jules Gilson leading quite happily. Second and third, great scrap. Little's hold sway from Justin Keane. 
and fourth place rages on between Mark Shaw, who goes wide again, and James Thompson. Through Maggots up towards Beckett, Daniel Little there trying to keep Justin Keane at bay, and likewise Mark Shaw having his hands full of James Thompson behind him. Round Beckett's for the final time, down the club straight. We look back, uh, in sixth position is now Guy Smith. Under the vehicle bridge they go for the final time. Jules Gilson, no problems for him. It's going to be a deserved win for him, the first in the championship, the first he hopes of many. Side by side for second and third and fourth and fifth. No change for second, and Thompson almost got fourth, though, away from number four, Mark Shaw. He hasn't given up yet, though. Neither has Keane to get past Little. Little has to block him as they go through Luffield. The last corner then, they're out of Luffield too now. They've just got to get through Woodcote. There is race winner Jules Gilson, who takes the chequered flag for the first time this year in front. We look back to see who's going to finish second. Will it be Little or will it be Keane? It's the yellow car, so Little is second. Third, Justin Keane. Fourth, Mark Shaw, just from fifth place, James Thompson. There is Guy Smith, just going out of picture in sixth. Seventh there, number one, uh, is Jamie Davies. And in eighth place, the recovering Martin O'Connell. Ninth was Peter Bell, and tenth, Ewan Dewar. A look then at the results. Gilson, Little, Key in the top three. Mark Shaw, a very good result for him, ahead of James Thompson and Guy Smith from the back of the grid. That means that Smith is second in the championship. His lead now going to Jules Gilson, with James Thompson rounding out the top three. Jules Gilson then makes it look very easy. How much was he able to relax, and how hard was it to keep his concentration over 16 laps? I find if I relax too much, I, I lose momentum and I slow down. Uh, and I didn't want that to happen again, because <laughs> I've had the lead stole from me twice in two races and I certainly wasn't going to let that happen again. It was very, very enjoyable. I was lucky towards at the beginning because uh, somebody spun right in front of me. I managed to miss him and then tag on to Daniel. And then it just went throughout the race like swapping and changing places. Daniel must be pleased with that. Yeah, I was quite happy to hold on to third, to second, sorry. I thought I thought he had me for a while. He kept on coming past, but luckily I managed just to hold him off for a while. I wasn't quick enough to catch Jules, so I was quite satisfied just to hold on to second. Round six of this year's Formula Vauxhall Junior Championship brings the cars to Thruxton for the first of three visits here during the course of the season. Jules Gilson, despite spinning out of contention at Brown's Hatch, still leads the championship. Second is Jamie Davies, 10 points behind, while Martin O'Connell, who won at Brown's, is third. Guy Smith, who won the opening round of the championship at Silverstone in March, languishes in fifth position at the moment in the championship table, but he's on pole position. It's been a very mixed season for him so far, despite that initial win. He's had a spin at Donington. Today, though, he could be the first man to win two races. The championship's been very close so far, with uh, different winners on every single round, which is very good for the championship, which proves how close racing is and uh, how effective the championship is. Um, it's good for me um, that the championship is so close, and the fact that nobody's able to get, get so much of a break, and that it keeps me in contention. Alongside Guy Smith on the front row is championship leader Jules Gilson, while Donington winner Jamie Davies starts third fastest on the inside of row two. So far, our season's been going reasonably well. We've had a few good results. Little win at Donington. Slipstream is is very uh, major part. It's, it's very, very difficult to break away. The only way you can really break away is if second and third are getting held up by Dyson. Mark Shaw took pole position at Brands Hatch, but today he's fourth on the grid. A look then at the times. Smith and Gilson, Davies and Shaw the first two rows of the grid. Texan Jeff Harrison starts fifth fastest, the inside of row three, with Brands Hatch specialist Peter Bell alongside him. Justin Keane and Martin O'Connell start on row four. The fifth row, Daniel Little and Jeff Lister. So then, 11 laps for this round of the Formula Vauxhall Junior Championship. Guy Smith on the left of the screen. The lights go to green. Pearl position man Smith then gets a very good start. Gilson very quickly away, and he's alongside him. Jamie Davies there tucking into third place as they round Allard for the first time. The grid almost still in formation, ready to uh, rows side by side still as they go up now to the complex for the first time and Guy Smith has the inside as they break for the corner but he's got second place, Gilson is ahead and going around the outside of them both there look to be Mark Shaw number 24 going through there is David Turnbull out of the complex for the first time, Gilson leads, Smith in second, third is Shaw fourth is Jamie Davies, Jeff Lister after that rather poor practice session by him trying to work his way up now through the field ahead of him they make their way round Noble and still Jules Gilson is his that leads. The man that won the opening round of the championship, Guy Smith, is there in second place. Third is Shaw, or is he? Because on the inside of him and trying to go through is Jamie Davies. In turn, Martin O'Connell is right with them. Peter Bell is there as well. Bell going a little bit wide. 
Then we've got Jeff Harrison in what's going to be seventh place. Now they make their way down to Church for the first time, approaching Woodham Hill, and still Gilson leads, the car going a little bit wider than that of Guy Smith behind him, and Davies goes wider still, they're in fourth position, the white car, he went very wide towards the edge of the circuit, and that has allowed Martin O'Connell to close up a little bit as they make their way down to the chicane for the first time. This is Smith's chance on the inside, he outbreaks Jules Gilson, the car twitches a little bit, Gilson fights back to the inside, but there's no way through this time. Out of the chicane, third is Mark Shaw, fourth is Davies, fifth O'Connell, rounding out the top six is Jeff Harrison, so he's gone ahead of Peter Bell, and Gilson fights back now, can he go around the outside of Guy Smith as they round Allard, it looks as though he can and he's done so, if he can stay ahead he'll be in the lead when they get to the complex, he does, he leads, and down to second place goes Guy Smith, what's happening for third, we've got a new third place man, Mark Shaw, because Davies has slipped not only behind him, but also behind Martin O'Connell, he's now having to look to his mirrors because Jeff Harrison is closing all the time round out of the complex they go so Guy Smith wants that lead back he pulls out from Gilson's slipstream there's also great drama going on for third place we've now got three cars squabbling for that Guy Smith though wants to be ahead of Gilson and he's having a look on the inside as they round Goodwood and Martin O'Connell is up into third place at the expense of Mark Shaw round they go and Smith is still attacking Jules Gilson somebody going very wide there that is Francisco Roy who sets off towards rural Hampshire creates a great cloud of dust and uh, smoke as he so does now, is he going to be able to find his way back onto the circuit in all that uh, lack of visibility? Yes, he does eventually, but right at the back of the field, and he's lost a great deal of time, which will be very hard to make up. Down to the chicane they come. Again, Guy Smith likes the inside line, and he surges through under braking. Mark Shaw trying to get third place back. Martin O'Connell closes up on Jules Gilson. So the first four cars now running as one almost as they come out of the chicane. A look at Francisco Roig's mistake. He goes very wide, lots of opposite lot of the friction-free grass, and disappears in a great cloud of dust. Somebody else disappearing is Ewan Dewar, who has got it all wrong at the chicane, out of the car as it almost runs over his foot, and the marshals push it away to safety. Guy Smith then in the lead, and with a little bit of daylight now between himself and Jules Gilson. Battle raging on for third position, Martin O'Connell now ahead of a different speed sport team car, and it is that of Jeff Harrison, the Texan. Jamie Davies is now fifth, and Mark Shaw has dropped down to sixth place, and it looks from that angle as though Davies is closing up a little bit on Jeff Harrison, who is there in fourth position. But Gilson, for uh, his part, just goes right up on Smith, and he's going to get the lead, I think, as they come down to the chicane. Yes, he is. Smith, though, fighting back, going down to the outside as they come down into the chicane. This time, he's not close enough to outbreak Gilson, but he does close up a little bit. Third now is Harrison. Fourth is Davies. Down to fifth goes Martin O'Connell. Sixth is Mark Shaw. Seventh is Jeff Lister. Bit of dust kicked up there as somebody runs wide out of the chicane, and across the line they go. O'Connell now trying to keep Shaw behind him. Jeff Lister in turn will be closing up on them. Round Allard they go. Now, can Guy Smith do anything about Gilson? He's closing up. Gilson makes a little mistake. The car drifts there, understeers as he breaks to the corner. Smith lunges out of the slits beam and tries to find a way through. And so, for that matter, does Jeff Harrison. I don't think he's done anything, though. No. Down to fourth he goes. Up to third has gone Jamie Davies. Fifth and closing on them is Martin O'Connell. And a change on the cards for sixth as Jeff Lister draws alongside Mark Shaw as they head off towards Noble. He can't get through, though. Gilson still leading. The battle for third position raging on. O'Connell now trying to find a way past Harrison, who is fourth. Round Goodwood they go. On now to Village and then Church. Guy Smith lining up for another attack as they come down to the chicane. Well, first of all, he's got to negotiate Church. He does that side by side with Gilson and through he goes. And look at Davies, who's closed right up in the process. Davies in the white car with a little green strip on the front of it. He's trying to find a way past Gilson. That one doesn't work and he's let Jeff Harrison through. So almost three abreast as they come into the chicane. Gilson looks to be leading from Harrison, Smith and then Davies. And that is the order as they line themselves up neatly through the chicane. Accelerating out of it now and across the line. Martin O'Connell, who is in sixth place, is closing up a little bit on Mark Shaw. Shaw drifts ever so slightly wide there and just picks up the dust as he did a lap ago. Round Allard. It looks to me as though Jeff Lister is dropping back, side by side almost there for sixth. O'Connell trying to find a way past the Scotsman. Jeff Harrison now closes right up to Jules Gilson, the Texan having his best race in the championship this season so far. And you can see how close he is. Guy Smith perhaps being held up a little bit now as they make their way out of the complex. Fourth place is still Jamie Davies. So the top four running together. Fifth and sixth, still Shaw from O'Connell. And seventh place is Jeff Lister. Round Noble they go. On now to Goodwood. Gilson goes a little bit sideways there. That should allow Jeff Harrison to attack. Guy Smith still in third and having to keep Jamie Davies at bay. 
round village they go up now to church and is this Davies chance to get third position away from Guy Smith it looks like it and he does go through even before they get to church now if he puts his foot down he might be able to catch up to the Texan ahead of him Jeff Harrison as they come down to the chicane but it's not going to work because out of this slipstream comes Guy Smith to get third place back and also having a go there is Mark Shaw so three abreast for third here come the leaders though but what's happening for third let's just look back Davies has the inside but it's not quite the right line Guy Smith holds that position fourth is Davies down to fifth goes Mark Shaw sixth is still O'Connell and seventh Jeff Lister as they make their way out of the chicane Jeff Harrison eager for his first victory of the season we've had a different winner for every round of the championship so far this season if Jules Gilson wins it will uh, spoil the pattern a little bit if Jeff Harrison wins it will keep the record unbeaten through into the complex they come Smith having to work very hard there to keep Davies and Shaw at bay because they are stepping at his heels O'Connell goes a little bit sideways that may allow Jeff Lister to close on him Jules Gilson having to work very hard though to keep this squabbling pack behind him tremendous racing as ever from Formula Vauxhall Junior all these cars made by the Van Diemen factory in Norfolk they all run on 1600cc engines they have mobile unleaded fuel and they're about as close as they can get now. And Guy Smith is now charging. He's closed up on Jeff Harrison. He's pulled away. Oh, what wants a car length from the very sideways there, Jamie Davies. And as they make their way now out of church, down to the chicane, side by side for the lead. And Jeff Harrison is going to go through for the first time in his Foreman of Oxford Junior career. One of the speed sport cars leads. And this time it's the Texan driver, Jeff Harrison. And look what's happening for second place. Everybody else, it seems, is going to want that position. Down to the chicane they come. Guy Smith just about has it at the moment. Third is Gilson change there fourth is mark shaw number four and he's trying to make his way through gilson goes very wide lots of opposite lock and that's going to ruin it for him he drops right to the middle of the field and martin o'connell almost collects him a variety of lines being taken jamie davies wasn't terribly impressive coming out as he came there onto the last lap and guy smith could yet win this one he's closed right up to jeff harrison with all the fun and games going on there at the chicane and poor old jules gilson as happened to him at brown's hatch has lost out as a result of a rather over exuberant bit of driving so making their way through the complex for the final time Jeff Harrison is who leads Guy Smith is second Mark Shaw is in third they make their way towards Noble fourth is now Jamie Davies down to fifth is Von Gilson and rounding out the top six is Martin O'Connell you can see what uh, close racing form of Oxwell Junior provides and also how easy it is for a driver's fortunes to change O'Connell winning at Brown's Hatch and now well down at the tail end of the top six here today Guy Smith has less than half a lap then to get past Jeff Harrison and he's in the best position to do it now. Lots of slipstreaming chances here at Cruxton. He's pulling up very close now to the gearbox of Jeff Harrison's car. He dives out and they come down to the chicane. He's right alongside, or is he, as they come round now into the chicane for the final time. Yes, he's just about alongside. They almost touch wheels. And if Guy Smith can brave it out here with the better line, he should be through and into the lead. He slides it, he gets it very crossed up. He just about hangs on. He hits the curb, he runs all over them. So does Jeff Harrison and a sprint to the line. Harrison can't do anything about it. He's having to fend off his teammates. And Guy Smith wins for the second time this season. The two speed sport cars almost bang wheels as they cross the line. Second though does go to Jeff Harrison. Third to Mark Shaw. Jamie Davies crosses the line to take fourth position. Championship leader. Jules Gilson in fifth, and Jeff Lister at Martin O'Connell's expense rounds out the top six. Jules Gilson still heads the championship then by just eight points now between himself and Jamie Davies. Two points clear of today's winner, Guy Smith, who's up to third. Jeff took the lead, and I had to glance at my pit board because I wasn't sure how many laps there were to go, and there was one lap to go, and I was very lucky that on the last lap, I was second and not, and not leading, so I was able to get the toe. It's just a case of being in the right place at the right time.